What's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we are back with some more LEGO City Undercover. That's right, we've got special assignment number four ready for you. Kung Fu, or Barry Smith's Dojo, as it's labeled on our map. Free play! That's right, that means we're going to get all the collectibles, including a red brick for Super Throw, a couple of character tokens, a couple of vehicle tokens. We get one gold brick because we already had received, or I guess achieved, the LEGO City Hero requirement for the studdage. And uh, we're going to get all those police shield pieces as well. Now, real quick, make sure all your red brick stud multipliers are on and ready to roll. And if you're ready to go, let's do this. Let's go ahead and peep out our map. Let's choose Barry Smith's Dojo. You can see we got two of the three gold bricks. All the other things we need to grab still. So we're going to go ahead and select. Yes, we want to start the assignment. No need to change costumes quite yet. However, we, uh, we do cover that soon as we are going to need Rex's super strength here in an upcoming video. Now, uh, as we spin around, special assignment number four, Kung Fu is loading up. And uh, we want to give a shout out to you for watching this. And of course, a shout out to Warner Brothers for hooking us up with a copy of this game. This game has been a blast. I don't know about you guys, but we've had a lot of fun with it. And as we finally gain control of our character here, we're going to mosey on over to the right hand side where we see a bunch of these black or dark gray mining bricks. And uh, we take a pickaxe out and make mincemeat out of those right quick. Revealing a drill spot. So we're going to pull out our da -da 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 drill and get our drill on. We don't have to dig too far to find what's lurking below, which happens to be an actual dig spot. Look at that, a pneumatic drill spot. So, oh, look at that. Roar! We actually get ourselves the first vehicle token. So, woo to the who. Good job for me and you. Next up, we have a little bit more clearing out to do. Uh, this time, it's going to be the red. I don't know what these are. They're like little balloons that kind of float around on the edge of the building here. And we're going to target those using our laser beam from our astronaut edition of Chase McCain. Now, there's a total of five of these guys. Uh, the first three are on the far right side, as you can see. And the last two are on the left. Once you get all five of those, we're actually going to obtain that police crest shield. Now, in order to advance through this area, we actually have a few story-related items we need to do. So, if you're in a hurry, feel free to use the quick links down below in the video description, as uh, provided a little helpful temp tip by Thumby there. And, uh, meanwhile, we're going to actually uh, obtain some of these super bricks needed to build the old dragon here for the super build in order to advance to the next area. Now, in this particular case, we have actually completed the story, which gives us access to the 2x multiplier for those buildable bricks. So every time we get a super brick, it's times two, which is good for not only me, but you too. Oh, look at those fireworks. They're in the shape of a Lego guy. Oh, that's so cute. Now, all right, pay attention because there are these kind of lion statues scattered throughout the courtyard. And there are a couple of them that have some buildable blocks behind them. And in this particular case, the one on the left-hand side is is going to give us the first little, uh, I don't know what we really call it. It's like a training dummy is basically what it is. It reminds me of like an old Kung Fu movie, which makes sense as this is Kung Fu. <laughs> but what we want to do is we want to build up both of these guys. Now, I already previously smashed the lion on the right-hand side, which revealed those buildable bricks. And now I've built both and used both of the ones down low. Now, there's another one up top, but we actually have to find our way up there before we can get to it. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Now, this is a little, this one threw me for a doozy. I thought for sure it was going to go along the pathway there, but nope, it takes me over to this little pile of what looks like some carrots and some leaves, and inside we've got ourselves a firework, which in this particular case, I do believe this helps us out. Uh, well, it gives us the next super brick, I guess. And all right, check it out. Oh, it's knocking over the dynamite too, which we actually need on the far right. So if we want to advance to that next level, we're going to need to utilize this. But hey, we got to switch to our mining costume first. Whoopsie. I don't know why, you know, I'm kind of up and down with that. Sometimes I'm really good. Sometimes I'm not so good. In this particular case, as you can see, the far right jumpy post uh, is uh, actually too high for us to reach to. So we go ahead and we shorten it with a little stick of dynamite. That allows us to jump up, and we can play a little hopscotch up on this ledge here, giving us access to this grapple plug. Now, I pull a whoopsie here in a minute, and I try to knock over this next item, which we actually need to do to get up to the top top, but I fall, and I have to retrace my steps to get back up here. Now, 
There's a purple over there in the far right, too. Hopefully, we'll grab that before we get out of here. We actually get quite a few studs. Now, look at that. Swing and a miss. That's one thing I don't like about the attack button is that you do kind of step forward and lunge out. And every once in a while, I'm too close to the edge, and I lunge myself right off the edge. So I'd love to blame somebody else, but truly, it's, it's user error. So... I'm tempted to go get that purple, but I fell, and I, I don't want to distract you or keep you any longer, so we'll go ahead and keep on keeping on. Go ahead and destroy both of the dragon heads on the ledge here, which the second one actually lifts up to the top and reveals a grapple spot. Now, the first one we knocked over actually provided a ladder down below that gives us a little quicker access up here. But most importantly, use that grapple to get to the third level. And in the back left middle, we find that last lion statue. We take it down. We uh, rebuild it and check it out. We do a little uh, training and booyaka shahu. We get that police shield piece number two. Now, next up, we've uh, got a little bit more story stuff. So again, feel free to use those quick links down below in the video description. Uh, otherwise, hang out here for a second. We're going to grab a couple of these buildable blocks. And look at that, Karate Master. Didn't take long. I guess it wasn't that long of a wait. We're going to actually use the old torch here. We need to pull the chain next to this main dragon in the middle here. He's going to breathe out some fire, and we've got ourselves a couple of spots we can take on. Most important one's going to be down below. That's going to be the one related to this character token. So go ahead and light the torch. I've seen those things before. Those are awesome. I don't know what they're called, but they're pretty cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. That's right. Now uh, we got Karate Master, and we can keep on keeping on. we got to go back up there. Good thing there's this ladder nicely waiting for us and of course a grapple plug to get back up top and realistically we have handled most of the items in this area as far as collectibles go but we've got some more bits that we need to take care of in order to get those last couple of fireworks to get those last super bricks now if i'm being honest we've got more than enough buildable bricks in order to advance to this area but hey if you've got let me look at this we need i think we need forty thousand, and uh each one of those big bricks is ten thousand. but we have the multiplier on so we have a chance to get a lot of bricks and i mean uh a lot. But uh, hey, ka -chow! If you saw a little fireworks show, again, reminder, we do have some quick links down below in the video description to get you to that next item. Now, it looks like it's going to be the Police Shield Piece 3, which is roughly about the nine and a half minute mark in our video. So again, you can certainly shave a little time off of uh, this video by using those quick links. Now, at the same time, we uh, certainly appreciate you hanging out and uh, watching what we do here as it's uh, a fun time. Hey, look at that. It's a firework time. Speaking of fireworks, it's getting close to that time of year around here where uh, we actually celebrate by lighting off lots of loud bangers and boomers, also known as fireworks. <laughs> but yeah, we actually have a big block party every year on 4th of July, and uh, we always look forward to that. So uh, if you're local and you'd like to join, you know, you can always uh, hit me up and find out what, what time everything's happening. If you're not local, I wouldn't recommend flying in or making a trip because it's really not that eventful. We do have some pretty cool fireworks, and we have some pretty cool neighbors, but uh, oh to the air. Uh. All right, so we've got all four of those fireworks launched, giving us all four of those super bricks. Now you can see we've got 153,000 bricks, but we only need 40K. But uh, hey, that's all right. We love having a little extra, and we know we're going to need a ton of those in the free roam. And uh, I know some of you have mentioned some farming methods and things like that, but we might not need it as we are collecting quite a bit with this 2X multiplier. And of course, we're not spending any of them as we go either. Now, we're not missing a chance to get any of them as well. We're making sure we collect them all because you know us. Got to get them all. Got to get them all. All right, we've got the dragon, which melted the ice, which revealed the key, and the key has now opened the door, and we're going to advance into the dojo. So we are inside here. We're going to meet Morphe, I mean, uh, Barry Smith here in a minute. And, uh, hey, take note of these two statues as soon as you spawn in. They actually need to be colored, and there is a color gun swapper if you didn't take the time to go get the super color gun red brick like we suggested you did in our Preparing for Free Play video. Now, we're going to ride this uh, astronaut space portal. That's right. Portal up. Beam us up, Scotty. We're upstairs now. And I got to be honest, I uh, actually made an edit right back there. Um, I actually had to come up here and smashed around. And I, for, funny enough, I read my notes and it said on the left side of the portal is the, the last two statues. Now, 
I read it wrong. That's not what the, what, the, what the guide says. And I ran off to the left, and I looked like a maroon, so I actually edited that out. So you might have to smash some boxes in order to get up top. And the color gun swapper is up topper. That's right. you got to use the bouncer on the left-hand side of this upper floor here, and then, of course, uh, follow the trail up to get the color swapper. Now, I'm a little behind here. As you can see, we've got these spinny deals here with these boxes of different icons. And essentially, there is the puzzle piece clue, or the key is actually on the lower level there as you can see i've already kind of made the camera move to a funny angle to go ahead and accommodate us and show us where that uh what the solution is and, and you know what somehow i still managed to mess it up i, I pull out the farmer for yeah Come on, Brian. Come on, man. What are you doing? So I eventually get it. Once you match all four of these up, though, it actually gives us the red brick for super throw, which I haven't really used yet, but uh, it sounds fun. It sounds like we've got some extra muscles when involving some tossing. So, all right, we got Miner on the left, and uh, we got Farmer next. And then I, I, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got Robber. And then I can't remember what's on the far, far right. But we'll check it out in a minute because there's a statue we need to grab over here as well. We'll go ahead and grab this glowing statue, which, again, I smashed a box right there that revealed that. So it may look a little different when you show up here. And uh, you might have to actually do a little damage and see some carnage before you get that. But uh, grab it once you find it and take it down to the bottom right-hand corner. And you can see there's a little green arrow bouncing up and down. It opens the door and gives us Barry Smith, a.k.a. Morpheus. That's what he looks like to me anyways. That's definitely who he reminds me of. Next up, we're going to use our Fama suit. That's right, old Farmer Joe is going to come out and do a little watering. We have six spots that need watering, and as per usual, we'll go ahead and let you use your imagination as to where Farmer Joe is storing that watering can, because, you know, watch. Ready? Where? Yep, I don't know. Still a little suspect to this guy. That's uh, not necessarily a comf comfortable-looking place to store that. Uh, but moving along, basically there are three on either side of the room, two on the back of each side and one up front, as you can see. Now we've got, uh, here we go, we got five, and next up we've got six. And once we get all six, it'll give us that final police shield piece, and we'll be able to move along to the next spot. Now we have one more item of interest in this area, and I actually should have already taken care of it. It's upstairs. we got to ride that teleporter one more time to get upstairs and we actually have to drop down to that middle level once more and on the far left side there is a box that needs well it needs a little bit of a rearranging here that's right so give it the old ka -chow and pick up some of that dynamite now we have the unlimited dynamite red brick but it turns out apparently that's only useful in the free roam i don't know why but apparently they do not let you use that red brick in free play so we'll get used to it later but meanwhile, we'll go ahead and grab the dynamite, blow up the little spot in the back left corner, and grab the hair dryer. That's a weird looking, or weird name for a weird looking moped. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like a little moped. Go ahead and ring the bell and uh, advance into a little cutscene here. Whoa, whoa! How'd that get in there? I should have cut that out. Anyhow, we've got uh, a little segment here at the end where we got to do a little cha cha But uh, guess what? As far as collectibles go, you have surpassed and got all of them. Now, uh, you can use the old save and quit, you know, hit the option or the start button, options button, whichever it is for you. Go ahead and go to your menu and go to exit, but make sure you save and quit so you keep all of those collectibles. Now, the game's kind of funny because I actually tried to not save and quit and it saved all my stuff so there's definitely some auto save points during the game that uh will make sure that you have some of the goods but to ensure you have them all make sure you use the save and quit option uh me though i'm actually gonna hang out for a little bit and throw my partner do -si do look at me i'm ch changing characters i thought it'd be fun to kind of you know whoop a little tush in different uh costumes you know make him make him uh make him worry about all of my different uh uh, yeah, all right. Not funny, Brian. Moving along, moving along. Not a good time to have the subscribe button pop up, too. Like, total joke fail. And I'm like, yeah, hey, guys, click the subscribe button for more joke fails. <laughs> uh, anyhow, hopefully you're already a faithful subscriber and you've already clicked that button to get all of our content put right in front of your eyes. Now, hey, I've noticed YouTube in the last couple of days has changed the way that they notify us, too. I've noticed I'm getting a lot more notifications from channels that I've been subscribed to that I wasn't previously getting notified when they uploaded videos videos so that's good and i'm hoping you guys are getting those notifications when we upload videos as well 
All right, we got one last group of baddies here. Uh, these guys are a little bit tougher. We got we got the little demonstration of how tough they are. And then we've got, of course, the whole battle royale where we got to take on all the guys. And once we get them all down and out, of course, uh, no, no cuffs needed in this particular area. But uh, once you get them all down, we actually move on to the, the final totals. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Yeah, and I highly recommend picking up and tossing guys at each other. As you can see, look, I, I picked up two guys, and I took out all five of them. Pretty, pretty sweet. But look at that. We got the super throw red brick. We've got all four of the police shield pieces. Now, what else we got? We got, uh, oh, the real city hero requirement we already stacked up. We got the roar vehicle token. Oh, we also got karate master. That's right. And what else? What else? What else? Oh, Barry Smith. And look at that, we got the hair dryer too. Now, one gold brick left over as we did have the police shields that we had not gotten in our story. We did get the, completed the level, obviously, in our story. And we also got the uh, real city hero requirement for the studage. So, anyhow, uh, that's going to wrap it up for Lego City Undercover Special Assignment for Kung Fu Barry Smith's Dojo Free Play. Feel free to follow us on any of our social medias. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Now, hopefully, uh, yeah. Hopefully you don't hold those bad jokes against me. And, uh, anyhow, check out the Thumby Must See. As for me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time. See ya.